Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're going to be detailing out my 2021 Chevy Silverado Z71. Normal daily driver was a 2013 GMC Sierra, so we'll go get a quick walk around and uh, we'll detail it up and see what winter did to it. Nothing fancy. Just a uh, Z71 crew cab. And it's got the six and whatever size box. I don't know. That was what I needed to do. Pull my car hauler. And it can fit a bunch of people in here comfortably. Put all my junk in the back. Bought this thing brand new in September. First brand new vehicle I ever have owned. I had a heck of a deal on it from work and trading in my other truck. My other truck was a 2013 GMC Sierra Denali. Of course, it was black as well. All of my trucks that I drive are black. And the SUVs that I've had for my dailies. And a Suburban and a Tahoe. And yeah, so everything I've had since the last, I don't know, 15, 20 years, the daily, it's been black. So, you know, the mods that I've done to this, nothing. Bone stock. I uh, added some back fender well rubbers up there. And I put a tonneau cover on it. So, seems to be about the best setup that I've figured as one of these soft tonneau covers. Um, and then I also put this in is a WeatherTech mat instead of a uh, spring and bed liner. Just because, I don't know, just want to try something different. About half the price of a spring on bed liner. And I just, yeah, wanted to try something different, keep some weight down, I guess, because it's all nice lightweight box. Did come with this on the back here. So for the inside, Go ahead and look in there. Pretty, uh, pretty basic. Power windows, power locks, butt heaters, steering wheel heater. That's what I like. Got a nice floor mat covered in salt, as you can see. Got the 4060 bench in the front. It's not leather, it's cloth. Of course, my little pet mats in the back. And all my other junk, but that keeps Bella from scratching up my doors. Oh uh, yeah, winter took a, took a beating on this thing, just like they always do, but we're gonna see how bad it really is. We're gonna go through and clean it all up. So first thing, go through, pick up any trash, any bull crap you got laying around, get rid of it. Any tools, any stuff, work-related stuff, I don't know. Just get it all out. Take it all out. You don't need it, get it out of there, throw it away. Get rid of it. Put it in a box. Go through it later. Just get it all out. So now that you get all your stuff out of there, these pockets, glove box, all that, you're going to want to take your front mats out back mats out and pull these off because pretty simple so get all those yanked out and throw them on the ground because we're going to wash them so i didn't pull out the driver's side yet because i wanted to show you it's got these salt stains on it and if they leach down to the carpet which usually they do um it causes an issue so if you do get them on there I'll show you really quick on a trailblazer. They tend to look like that. And they won't come off, even if you vacuum them off. Vacuum them off. So, take WD-40. Soak the uh, salt stain. Wherever it is. Let that soak in, I don't know, 20, 30 minutes. You can see I got a bunch right there, too. 
But let that soak for like 20 or 30 minutes. It'll loosen up that salt and you'll be able to vacuum it right off. So I pulled it off very minimal, if anything, on the carpet itself. That's why I'm a firm believer in those WeatherTech style mats because they, um, they hold up well. A whole lot of junk. So after you get all your mats out, slide your seats all the way forward, both sides. So when you get your seats all forward, you're gonna go ahead and either vacuum it out or if you have compressed air, take your blow gun, of course, hearing protection, so we're gonna go ahead and just blow all the junk out. What that does is it'll get in through here, all these little areas, especially underneath your seat, you can blow it all to the front, and that way you're not fighting so bad with a vacuum. And you kind of do a dusting when you use this. So I'm gonna blow this out, and then we'll move on to our next step. Well, if you're like most, you eat inside your vehicle, and then you get stains inside your vehicle. And I don't know how many more times I can see a vehicle. But, yeah. Here's the way that I take care of those. If you don't got a can of spray away, go get don't one. use any other kind of glass cleaner. Use spray away. What I like to do is where the, uh, the stain is, right there. Take a little spray away and just kind of soak it down there. Now let the foam do its thing. After it starts foaming away, use a uh, clean rag. Just slowly work the stain out. Just like that. And if they're too deep, you can get upholstery cleaner works really well in the cars um put some coffee stains on the floor of the impala and they, they were there when i bought the car so they're old and they came right up well, there you go but yeah you can use upholstery cleaner carpet cleaner um just test a little spot where you're not going to see so it doesn't stain your fabric or whatnot but yeah that's what i'll use now the reason i'm so particular on stains including this one that's way underneath here is that one might not just all of a sudden start stinking but it's a combination of that one, the one over there, the one over here, the one over there, blah, 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 that you start getting all these around the truck or vehicle, you're gonna have a funky smell inside your car and you're not gonna know what it is and where to start to clean it. So taking care of all these little stains in the truck now is gonna prevent me in the future from doing any of that kind of stuff. Another spot while you got your glass cleaner out these hard plastic wear areas just go ahead and soak them down and wipe them up really well right now get majority of the dirt and crap off of them because we're going to shine them up but you don't want to be shining that stuff into the plastic so we'll go ahead and clean them up right now maybe that spot too so now all your hard plastics all taken care of armor all terry cloth microfiber something or other use one specifically for interior parts others for waxing and whatever else but pick a spot go through it don't have to put a lot on if you want to go ahead i'm not going to because i'm just going to do a nice coat i'll probably double up like the dash and stuff because that's usually where sun most hits but go through hit all your plastic call it good also, if you have one of these digital touchscreen things, don't spray this on there or don't put window cleaner or anything on there because it will damage that screen. 
So once you've gone through and got it all wiped down, go through, check your work. If you missed anything, now's a good time to catch it. Uh, I always end up missing back in here and like in there, like I did right there. There's a bunch of dust, but that's really simple. Just take the rag and kind of floss it in there and get it taken care of. So do all that. Then we move on to windows. And some of you might have asked, well, how come you didn't wash the windows first because you're going to put dust on the dash? Well, I like to go a little heavier with my armor all. And now we spray it on the windows. So wiping the windows down after gives me the ability to wipe off the armor all. And when I'm doing like edges like this, when the rag is nice and soaked with armor all, it always rubs on the glass there and leaves smear marks. So that's why I do it that way. Teach his own. You guys can do it how you feel. But that's the way that I prefer to do it. Don't forget that back window, just as important. Okay, so now you get all your glass all cleaned up. Close the truck up. We don't want any dirt in there. We went through and cleaned it all up. Made nice and pretty. Want to stay that way because we're about to we're about to move on to our next step. Next step is your floor mats. You got the carpet ones. Vacuum them off. Blow them out with the air gun. You'll get it. You have rubber ones like this. You can pressure wash them off. We're going to try to pressure wash them off. If they're a little bit stubborn, I got some kaboom grease to kaboom them, I guess. Maybe that's what I have, some purple power. I don't know. It's in a big jug over here. Yeah, purple power. Yeah, the pressure washer worked, so that's good. I'm not going to get too carried away with these because, again, they're just floor mats. If you don't have a pressure washer, garden hose, some detergent, purple power, whatever, just spray it on there and scrub it in with a brush. But I'm going to tip these up, let them dry in the sun. That one's already pretty much dry back there, but let them dry off here, drip dry, and we'll throw them in the truck and move on to the next step. So I am going to do it, something I don't always do, but you can do it. I'm going to take armor all and just light coating over my floor mats. Not going to rub it in or anything, but just going to let that soak on there and just kind of eat on the plastic, I guess. Make it shiny. Got to be careful when you do this because it will make the bottom of your shoes slippery and then you go to go in someplace and you'll fall on your butt. So I don't like doing it all the time, but I'm going to do it this time. So our next step is going to be washing. Now, if you don't have a pressure washer, just use your garden hose and whatever else you got. That's fine. If you do, go ahead and use it. If you want. If not, use a garden hose. I'm just doing it because it's my first wash from winter, and I want to get all the salt and BS off of it. Now, important thing when you're washing a vehicle, you always want to start from the top. Work our way down to the sides. Always use a clean mitt. Clean mitt. I just bought this one the other day. Used it once on the Impala. Those brushes, they work fine for hard to reach places. I just, those guys, they will scratch your paint though. Just FYI. And then you always want to get really good quality soap. Doesn't matter what kind of soap you got, as long as it's car wash soap. Today's flavor is going to be the Armor All Wash and Wax. They have very many different kinds. I got this Rain-X stuff. This one's almost out. I've actually had these for a couple years, so I'm trying to use them up. Get some new stuff, but good quality wash, good mat, and you're not going to put any little scratches or anything or drag dirt around on your paint. But you don't want to do. So this is why I pressure wash. You can see all the salt residue. It's underneath the hood. It gets up in those little nooks and crannies. And that is what rots out your vehicles. Because over time, water will be attracted to that. 
pick it up, drip it through to the random places. And before you know it, it's pulling up and you are rusting out your fenders and your rockers and everything else. So that's why I go through and pressure wash stuff. So I got it all pressure washed. I was just amazed at all the gunk just coming out of the linings there and dripping down. I mean, you can see the dirt. It's, uh, yeah, that was in the truck. So I actually switched over to my, that thing. And I'm gonna soak it down again and do the final wash. So after it's washed, if you've never seen one of these, it's a chamois cloth. What this does is it'll go through and it'll dry off the vehicle and won't leave water spots. I didn't record me doing it because the sun beaming down here, it's kind of hot and I had to get it done here in a relatively short order, but you basically go through and you wipe down all the water and it leaves no marks, no, no water marks. Got some right there that I missed, but majority of them are gone. So I'm gonna let this thing drip dry off. I did notice some spots, some paint chips gonna have to address before we move on to our next step so i'm gonna let this dry grab some lunch show you how i'm gonna do that so overall not bad i got one little chip right there and i do believe there was one on the hood yeah there's one on the hood right there and I got a little scratch right there. Those are from running it through a car wash with the brushes on it. So yeah, no, nope, dust. Anyways, so what I'm going to do, at least for my chips, something that I've always done, now that the paint's dry, I'm going to use my touch-up paint. right nail polished just go to a dollar store pick it up have it on hand and it works really well especially when you only have black vehicles I got another one right there so you want to make sure to get these chips taken care of ASAP you like because that will cause rust well no chip off then rust, and then it'll rust into your wheel well, and you'll be SOL. Looks like we got some junk in there. We might have to do a clay bar and really dig out the crap that's accumulated. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and touch these up and then show you what they look like. Michigan winners. Gotta love them. Nope. No, I don't. Rust on the chrome. It's already pitting. So take some steel wool and just make it disappear. You gotta probably put some something on it, but yeah, it's from pitting. Probably got a chip or something. Well I'll work at that and see what it looks like. There we go. That will come back, but just have to repeat that process. And you can see it's still I'm gonna shut it up here through the rest of it. I might just take that quick, just give it a polish. Check the front one out too. Uh, you can do your tips as well. I just took some spray away, put it on there and clean it up. But yeah, one thing after another. Good is not even a year old. How about that? Cool. Well, paint chips they are dried so now what we're gonna do is we are gonna tire shine the tires let that sit and while it's soaking in we're gonna do our spray wax 
Don't let it fool you. I just refill the bottle. I buy the generic cheap stuff and use a good spray bottle. So now that those are nice and shiny esque for right now, time to use my ceramic coating. Use this many times. It's actually almost gone. Gonna have to get a new bottle, but Turtle Wax, best stuff I found. So I'm gonna use my uh, secondarily microfiber and we're gonna put a coat on the truck. Ooh wee, nice and shiny. So over on the sun side, you can see some smudge marks here and there. Yeah, like up there. So I got this black detailer, I'm gonna go wipe it down again. So I put two coats of ceramic on it and then put this black detailer on it. And that should about wrap this up. Now a few last things you're gonna wanna do. Wash the windows, cause I missed a spot. You can use rain -X and whatever, just Windex it, spray away it. Second, we're gonna clean the jams out because they're dirty. And third, we're gonna spick and span up them rims. So for these jams, using my old shimmy cloth and taking some spray away, getting it all moist. I'm just using my old shimmy cloth and wiping it down. And you're left with a nice clean jam. You can go all the way around, do the doors as well. You can see that's pretty nasty. So I'm gonna do this up and move on to the tires. Okay, now that your jams are all wiped down, the final step that you're gonna wanna do is address your rims. Take an old towel, got a couple of them laying around. And you want something towel fabric to kind of get in there. And now that our tire shine has been sitting on there for a while, we're going to take the towel and we're going to wipe off the excess. You can see in there we kind of got the drips and this will kind of help rub it in, but yeah, keep it mainly on the tire like we want. So then after you go do that, just go through and finger polish up your spokes. Get them as close as you can. Get them into your lugs, around your emblem and whatnot, but kind of get on the back side if you got the back side. And just clean them on up. And there it is. All done. Interior, exterior, pressure washed, winter grime off of it, polished, windows washed, all cleared up, cleaned up, jams cleaned up. It's good to go. That's kind of what I do. I usually do it. Three, four, five times a year. Mostly when it's nice, because obviously in the winter time you can't. But same process I do on the Impala, I do on the truck. It's never failed me. This thing's always looking shiny. So that's gonna do it. Thanks everyone for watching. Catch you in the next one.